Hi, welcome to our stamping session tonight. I'm going to show you a little bit about basing stamping and embossing. So if you got your stamp, just bring out your stamps, your stamp pads, and glitter glue if you'd like to use that. we got some embossing pattern and more embossing gun, heat gun. Just going to give you a quick introduction. You got your basic ink pads. I got my pigment ink, which is great for embossing because it's sticky. I got my dye ink, which dries really fast and it's perfect for just basic stamping. You know, if you want to color your your pictures and stuff. And I also got a piece of uh, pixie dust chalk ink, which is great for you know if you want to add some dimension to it. Let me just show you how that works first. This is just a light pink, so it just gives you a very very Subtle motive. Shows up pretty nice in the black. It would just be great for a little background on a white piece of paper. And it dries pretty quickly too. Just like just like normal chalk. Let me just start with that, that dye ink. I've got my little ladybug stamp. I'm going to just press my stamp onto the ink pad. Press it down evenly. Make sure that all the corners touch the paper. And we got a little ladybug. Now this dye ink, it will dry pretty fast and you could stamp, you know, as many as you wanted to and you could color with crayons or you could use uh, chalk or pencils. Well, I got my little marker here. I'm just going to color this red with this ladybug in the red. Just color within the black lines. Just like you would do it with a coloring book. You can use your watercolor pencils or blending tool and you know whatever you would like. And if you want to do a little more, you could add some glitter glue on top, you know, make it a little sparkly. And that, let that dry and it becomes really cool because it'll get that little slick surface. There's our little ladybug. Now let me show you some embossing. Well, it can get a little messy so I got the paper under here. Because if you're really unlucky the pattern will go everywhere. Trust me on that one. I have tried it. We'll use a little heart for this. Now the embossing stamp pad is really sticky, kind of like glue, which is why the, the pigment ink is great, because it doesn't dry fast. So let me just stamp. There we go. I'll use the white for this. Just spread the powder on. Make sure it covers the entire motive that you stamped. And then I put the powder back on the paper so I can put it back into the box afterwards. See, this is just the powder sitting on the embossing itself, the stamp pad. If you use the heat gun, it'll melt the powder. It's going to be a bit noisy though. So here we go. Once the, once the powder melts, it creates this really cool raised surface. I don't know if you, know if you, you do dry embossing and you get that raised motive if you use your stencil on the back. Well, the embossing powder does the same thing. 
gives you a really cool little moment. So have fun. Try it out. Happy scrapping. Visit us at pigscrap.com for more tips and ideas.